I would slam on the brakes in the middle of the ice, skate right down the middle of the ice where 22 can pass to you through the middle back door instead of going behind them like you did there on the initial rush play. Right on this face off, get lower in your stance so you can drive into that player and be lower center of gravity so you can get better angle on the puck. That second time when you go at that defender to steal the puck, make sure you drive through his hands. Keep skating through his lower part of his stick with your whole body so then you can have leverage on it. And then the second part of that, just make sure you're on top of the crease screen and the goalie so you can have a better, better chance to get a rebound. I like how you're ready off this face off. You're really low in your stance and you're ready to drive through that player. And then when you're coming back in the zone, you're aware as well, which is perfect. Positioning wise, everything looks great. When you're skating up the ice, I would try to get more to the left side of the ice and keep moving so you're an option for your center or your wing to pass to you. Second part, that's a great job when you hold that guy on the back side of your body. Try to keep skating, keeping it on your backhand instead of cutting right back because once you cut back, you expose the puck. So here, that was a good little play, but if you try it again, you keep it on your backhand, you keep skating around the net, and then you don't expose the puck for a possible turnover a couple times on that shift. So good job staying on the left side. You kind of creep over more to the middle, end up on the right. I think if you stay on the far side of the ice and you keep skating instead of going behind your player for a drop pass right here, you're going to have a better chance at getting that puck. It comes back to you in the slot, which is nice. You make a good play to the point. But I think the best part you need to fo – the most important part would be if you stay on your left side as you're skating up the ice full speed so you have more of an option when you get the puck to make a play. Good job filling back into your spot. Try to sprint as fast as you can to the boards so you're able to get that puck uh, from the defenseman. Because if you skate just slowly with your back to the play, it's hard for the defender to find where to pass to. So if you could skate as fast as you can to get open in the D zone, your, your D man will be able to find you right away on your forehand. I like how you're creeping and getting low, getting ready to jump in on that face-off. You're going to come out with more pucks. Good job getting your feet moving. I think right here the best play is if you can keep your feet going, that was a great job using your body because you're a big kid. So right here, instead of backhanding up, backhanding up that wall, try to use your feet and skate it up the wall and let the other opponents take it off of you instead of flicking it up. I think that will be the best play for you on that offensive chance. Good job getting stick on puck. I like how you're back checking through the middle of the ice. That's always the most important thing. Here, sprinting to the wall, that's perfect. And I like how you have your chest opening up facing the play. So then your D-man can give that perfect pass right on your tape. He knows exactly where you want the puck. So that was a good job staying low on the face off. Now you're getting back in the middle of the ice. I want to see you sprint all the way to the board so you can open up. Show your stick instead of your backhand. Your forehand is what you want to show the defender there so he has a perfect target. Then as you make your way back into the D zone, everything looks great. Um, now as you're skating up the ice, try to get wider instead of close to that forward. If you're wider, it gives you way more of an option to get the puck, and it gives you more time and space when you do get the puck. When you're really close to the guy like that, you run out of space. Good job getting out to the point here, getting ready to block that shot. That's excellent. Shows that you're ready to jump on that guy and be aware. I like how you're staying low, getting ready to face the play on this. Um, your shoulder checking, you're making sure you see your guy. Everything looks great right here. If you can kind of get two hands on your stick and then really drive up the ice and don't expose that puck. If you really get your feet moving the entire way, use that big body, protect it instead of that dangle. If you just hold it and skate it. Good job opening up, facing the play for your D-man. He could have moved it to you. 
I like how you move back in the middle of the ice and you're ready. What I want to see here, the puck's going to go in the corner. I want to see you grab that and move your feet up the ice as fast as you can. Don't give it up because when you flick it like that, you just turn it over. So keep skating forward. When you get this puck right here on the wall, don't be afraid to turn back on your backhand. Skate it behind the net because if you just keep going up and whacking it up, it turns into a turnover. On this one, keep driving as hard as you can back door to the left post so you can give yourself an option for a backdoor tap in instead of running out of room. Good job grabbing that puck, holding on to it, opening up. That's excellent. Using that creativity there. Big body, you get a trip. Should have been a penalty. Um, excellent play there. You're going to get the puck right here. If you can get way more to the middle of the ice, you'll have more of an option. But that was an excellent move. I really like how you moved your legs there. So right here, make a good little play. But if you keep skating more to the left, you're going to have more room as you're coming up the ice instead of coming right through the middle. Here, I like how you're starting to create a little deception here. Uh, with a big body, I'd like to see you drive wide more or get a Ovechkin wrist shot through the legs there. 